Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review on the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Now, on Nykaa, on the last day of their pink summer sale, this was in stock for like literally 15 to 20 minutes and then it went back to being out of stock. So yeah, at that quick time, I picked this up and a biggest credit goes to this subreddit, uh, which is called the Indian Makeup Addict. So a beautiful soul over there had mentioned that this was available. I quickly picked it up and this is in the shade number four medium so before we can get into the video and if you have not already then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it certified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video So for the claims and description, it says that it is a full-size multi-purpose liquid glow booster infused with skin-loving ingredients to give your complexion a soft focus social filter effect in real life. Skincare makeup hybrid for glowing dewy skin. Now this also has squalene which moisturizes skin, hyaluronic acid which hydrates skin, finely milled powders which blurs line and pores for a smoother soft focus look. And this will be great for dry, normal combo or oily skin as well. Now this retails for 1650 rupees for 31.5 ml of product and they offer only 5 shades. However, in US, UK, everywhere else they offer a total of 8 shades so I wish they kind of do increase the shade range whenever they come back in stock. So this is how the packaging looks like which comes in this baby pink cap in a glass bottle. At the bottom you have the shade name and number. Now I really like the applicator because one it is big, second it has a slight dent in the middle so it kind of stores the product over there. And now let's get into the application. Okay, I have zoomed you guys in and firstly, I'm gonna remove the excess oil off of my face. I always do this before I apply any product. Oh, it's a big duffer applicator. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is once I do my face, I'm going to prime using the Essence Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer, which has a black clay, because I'm curious to see how the e.l.f. one works with and without a primer. I'm just using a flat brush. This is from uh, Estee Lauder. I got this free with their foundation. Straight up super glowy. how my skin looks like right now it is super duper shiny and at the same time i do not actually see any difference between this side and this side the one with the primer and the one without um so yeah that is that and the other thing that i noticed is that it does have a very very sheer coverage so fii you can also use this on its own uh you know by just using like a concealer under your eyes and setting the whole face with a compact or a loose powder i think it should be more than sufficient but yeah i'm still confused should i use a foundation or not <laughs> So I forgot to press record, but I have decided not to use a foundation. So I'm just going to use is a concealer on my under eyes, set my whole face with a loose translucent powder, use a matte blush and call it a day. For concealer, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer, which is in the shade 140 Pure Beige. For loose powder, I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I'm just dusting it on my under eyes and whatever is left over, I'm applying it all over my face. Okay, this actually doesn't look that bad. For blush, I'm using the Balm in Stain. 
so i'm going to skip on the cheek contour i'm just contouring on my nose and this is the la girl pro conceal in beautiful bronze so this is how my makeup looks like overall now this was a proper trust the process kind of a thing because initially i thought it will not look good on its own but just a mattifying loose powder did the charm so yeah i really like how this looks like so far because i can still see some glow on my face which is great so the time right now it is 11 50 a.m and when i finished applying the elf halo glow it was around 11 30 ish so yeah we're gonna put the mark as 11 30 and uh, i do have to film another video and i will come back for the first check-in before that i will show you guys how it looks on my phone camera as well guys i'm back and the time right now is about 3 13 pm so it has been a little over three and a half hours since i last applied the elf halo glow liquid filter and this is how i look like i do feel a little bit of my oil has come through so i'm going to quickly blot my face and uh, let's see how that goes so this side after blotting and this side without any blotting this is the excess oil that has come off of my face and this is how it looks like i still feel it looks really really fresh after removing all the oil but yeah all right so let's go over with the formula so firstly i was really surprised that it gave a decent sheer coverage which does seem to be quite buildable so you can build it up to a little bit more not like exactly to a medium and obviously not a full coverage but it gave a nice sheer coverage which i was not expecting at all now this made my skin glow like really really glow and at the same time it was light it did not feel heavy or anything and it was not sticky or tacky or anything of that sorts and it gave the right amount of glow without it looking oily and it does not have any chunky glitter particles or any glitter of that sort it's just a very finely milled shimmer particles which is not even visible now for the application i would personally recommend using a brush or your fingers to blend the product into your skin because using a wet or a damp sponge might absorb the product so it will shear it down a lot more now this actually worked pretty great on its own and i just use is only a loose translucent powder but then if you have skin like mine which is bumpy i have a lot of close comedones like on my forehead i have acne scars large pores i will highly recommend using like a medium coverage sort of like a compact or a powder foundation or anything of that sort and it will look flawless and obviously you can use this under your foundation mix in with your foundation or you can use it after you apply your foundation just on the high points of your face Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention is that this makes my skin feel moisturized. Today, I did not add any moisturizer, but even then, it still feels good. For the side with the primer on, I did not find much of a difference with primer and without the primer because both the sides, it was equally oily. And even right after the application, I did not see much of a difference on my skin. So yeah and lastly there is no smell at all which is great and now for the cons there are two points the first point is that it is never available so like i mentioned before when i bought it itself only 15 to 20 minutes that is all that it was available and then immediately it went out of stock so yeah i do wish that they bring out more quantity so that it is in stock the second con is to bring out the other three shades because the shade number five it does not look deep enough so yeah i do wish that they do bring out the other three shades when they restock i don't know when that is but whenever they do so overall in my personal opinion i do love and highly recommend the elf halo glow especially if you have dry or normal skin you will hands down freaking love this now if you have a combination or oily skin like me i would suggest using like a good mattifying primer and a good pore minimizing primer which will help make your glowy skin last long oh two other things before i can wrap up this video first thing is that i do have the charlotte tilbury flawless filter let me know in the comments down below if you want me to compare both side by side and see which one is better or not second thing is that the price 
if you are planning to buy it i would recommend waiting for a sale or something so that you can buy it at that time because in us this is sold only for like 14 dollars which if you convert it to indian rupees is close to 1150 ish rupees approximately so yeah if you're planning to buy it buy it during a sale so yeah these were my thoughts on the elf hello glow liquid filter and this finally wraps today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or request i will try and visit for you as well as follow me on my socials with Shnayar on instagram and Shnayar on twitter as well so until next time take care bye